Hi artists, welcome back. I'm Christy here at Tinker Art Studio. We are going to do a cactus drawing in today's workshop. The materials that we'll need are a piece of white paper, washable markers, so the washable part is important. This is Crayola brand. You might have a different brand, but as long as they're washable, they will work well. A brush and a little bucket or cup of water. All right, let's get started. We are going to be using a very fun technique to create a cactus inspired piece of artwork today. Cactuses come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. Let's take a look at some cactuses to get some inspiration for the shapes that we'll be using in our drawing today. Cactuses are succulents, which is a type of plant that has spongy roots and stems. This is so that they can hold onto water they get and save it for later. A cactus doesn't have leaves, but instead it has spines or thorns. Some cactuses are very small and some are very big. There are about 2,000 different types of cactuses found in the world. They like to live in hot, dry climates like deserts, and some can even live for up to 200 years. The saguaro cactus is the largest cactus in the United States. The tallest one ever found was over 78 feet tall. That would be as tall as a seven story building. Cactus flowers come in many different colors from yellow and red to pink, white, orange, and even blue. Their flowers can be as small as a dime or as large as a dinner plate. Now that we've learned a little about cactuses, let's jump into drawing our own. I like to start by collecting all my cool colors of markers. So any shade of blue, purple, or green. And then I'm going to start laying my cactus shapes down on my paper. So you might like to choose any shape you feel inspired by. And I'm going to start with that cactus shape that kind of builds like this as my central cactus in the middle of my paper. This is a prickly pear cactus. Then I'm gonna choose another color, like maybe this light green, and draw another style of cactus. Maybe that saguaro cactus that kind of has the arm that comes up. Now notice that I'm allowing this one to look like it's behind the first one that I drew. In order to do that, I skip the line that looks like it would be behind the first cactus. Now I'm gonna draw one more cactus in a new color. I'm gonna try this teal color. I think I'm gonna do just a tall one. Oh, I'm gonna skip that spot to make it look like it's behind and come back down on this side. Now I have three different cactus shapes in three different cool colors. These shapes are very flat and two dimensional. In order to give my shapes some form, I'm going to draw some lines, some contour lines through the middle of my cactus. So I'm gonna start with the same color that I used for the outline of the cactus. And I might draw some long lines, some shorter ones, some dashed lines. I'm even angling my marker a little bit to get a little bit of a thicker line going on in some places. Because this cactus is a tall, straight cactus, my lines were very straight. When I move on to the cactus in the middle, I want my lines to appear a little more curved to help show that this cactus is a little rounder and curved. So I like to start by drawing a straight line down the middle and then curved lines on each side. Now 
Now for the final cactus. I'm gonna draw some of those straight lines. And then when I get over here to the bend in the arm, I might curve my lines a little bit to follow that bend. I'm using the side of this marker to make thicker lines. And then maybe my line curves. The curve is actually kind of hidden by this cactus, so I don't end up having too many curves there. Now, artists, I'm going to come back in with a different color. Maybe you want to pick up some blue and add a little blue in here with this turquoise. And I'm just filling in my space with those lines, these contour lines in the middle of my cactus. I'm gonna choose one other color for each cactus. I think over here I might do the dark green, and then over here maybe the light green. I'm not filling in the whole space. We're gonna to get to that when we move on to our water with our brush. And lastly, I'm going to add some flowers. This is when I might pick some of those other colors. Remember that flowers on cactuses come in all different colors and sizes. To add a flower, I'm going to make a little dot on one of my cactuses, wherever I want the flower to be, and then go out from that dot and back in and do that a few times. I think this cactus might have two pink flowers. And then over here, I think I made out a, mm, maybe a red flower. And an orange one over here. Okay, now that I have this cactus drawing, I'm gonna put my markers away and get my water and brush. Because these are washable markers, I can use my brush in water and blend the colors together. So I'm gonna follow those same lines, the direction that I was drawing them with my brush. Sometimes it takes a moment for the water to blend these colors I might re-dip and get more water when my brush starts feeling dry. And then I just kind of trace right over the lines in the same direction. And you can see how the colors start really blending together. Give this a moment to be able to really see the effect. As the water starts to dry, it will become a little more clear. And this turns my markers into more of a watercolor paint. I'll do the same thing with the flowers. Just blend that marker right on the paper. Now 
Now I'm gonna let my cactuses dry a little bit before I go back in and add those spikes or thorns. All right, to add thorns, I'm going to use a black marker and there's so many different ways you could add spikes or thorns to your cactuses. One way is to draw an X and then another line through the top and through the side. It kind of looks like a star. I might do this style of thorn in rows on one cactus and a different style of thorn on another cactus. Another style of thorn that's fun to do is little kind of upside down or sideways V shapes. I like the way that one looks too. Maybe some come off the side like that. And another style of thorn might just be little dashed lines all over the place. Some in rows or maybe just kind of all over your cactus. It is totally up to you. You are the artist, you get to decide. I'm gonna keep working on the thorns on my cactus, building them out for each one. Great work, artists. I hope you enjoyed this technique and you might like to try it out in different types of artwork that you create. Using water to blend the marker colors together is a really fun technique for lots of different styles of art. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.